without further ado, we present Brad Howe live at the Legion. Town guy that's B to the rat, L to the Y. I'm a pencil neck geek, a freak. I'm corny. I come from Massachusetts. Snow makes me horny. Softball pitching, class ring dripping. Always wear a crewneck when I'm episode sipping. I'm a mustache man. No financial plan. I travel first class. I ride Peter Pan. How we doing, everybody? How we doing? Hey, Reggie, good to see you. I haven't seen you on Facebook. There's a rumor. I'm a boomer. My Hawaiians are as loose as can be. See, I'm a master of suppression, never dealt with my depression. I come loaded with anxiety. I'm honest and blunt, I don't care what you think. That's a tall tale sign that I ought to see a shrink. If somebody tells me that I'm not right, I emotionally shut down like a computer at night. Mary, don't look at me like that. I will shut down. It's caused me a lot of problems in my life. I like to drink beer, but I try to stay slim. Can of lime marita with some salt on the rim. I love to rip butts, but I don't smoke pot. I've been around the world, Epcot. I'm 36 years old, I drop a four. When I go to Hampton Beach, a boogie board. Reading makes me bored, and you know I praise the Lord. I sit in church front pew, that's how I do. Got a couple show rules I know are disappointing. No making out, no laser pointing, please. I don't have much time, baby. Baywatch starts at nine. Make yourselves comfortable, have a couple beers. My Bill Clinton impression is gonna have you in tears. Sit back, relax, laugh it up, don't you know? Welcome to the Legion. Welcome to the show, everybody. All righty, folks. I know what you're thinking. Did he invite us out tonight to rap for us? <laughs> yes, I did, I just did it. So I guess the answer is yes. But there's a reason. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed the first rap in a legion in the history of the United States of America. It's the first time it's ever happened. My nephew and I knocked back a couple Pepsis, wrote the lyrics and voila, a gorgeous rap. Nice rap, huh? If you ever do see me doing the electric slide again, you better hide your aunts. Your uncles are gonna be single real quick you know what i mean we're gonna have some fun all right i'm just kidding around everybody all right my name is brad howell it's good to be here thank you thank you if you guys are ready to have a good time tonight give me a hell yeah now you understand i'm a new england man and boy do we have a cozy little summer night on our hands huh the whole town showed up i love this town oh we got the salamitos over here I got my McNamara's in the back. Yeah, we got Nick and the Carbonis. How'd you get that table? Nice spot, guys. Nice spot. Where's Kenny Tebow? There he is. Uh-oh. I don't think he's gonna show up. <laughs> Kenny's still mad because I drove through his fence on strawberry tonight. <laughs> get over it, Kenny. And you know, I'm Jesus. This guy's awesome. Oh, Seth, can we stop the show for a second? Sorry, sorry. Is anybody here for Ryan's high school graduation party? Yeah, guys, that was at one o'clock. That was four hours ago. Please leave. Thanks a lot. Good night. Good night, Courtney. Good night. Oh, yeah. Good night. Oh, yeah, they forgot their sign and everything. Congrats, Ryan. He's not even going to UMass. What's the point? Send him to the zoo. Send him to the zoo. Let's go. Can I also just say something? Who the hell has a high school graduation party at one o'clock in the afternoon? <laughs> These kids don't want a cake, they want a keg. Let them drink. Yeah! Let them drink. Pisses me off. All right, all right. Now, if you're new here to the Legion, let me show you around a little bit. Of course, you met Jeannie at the main bar. Over at the VIP bar, we have Jeannie's daughter. This is Long Leg of the Rain, everybody. Hey, Brad, screw you. Oh, what a handful. You broke what my barbecue. <laughs> 
Uh, she's just mad because we used to date, but I called it off because I didn't want to pick up a second job just to feed her keno habit, you know? Oh, she plays, boys. You gotta be, she plays. She doesn't win, but she plays. She also drinks a lot, too. One time she cut open her finger, Kahlua came out. Just popped right out. Have a drink. She'll be serving some of my best buddies over here, the Satin Jack Quartet, everybody. What do you say, boys? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. I've never heard that one, boys. Where did you learn that? Guys are awesome. My God. Uh, people say, Brad, we want to get to know you. Let's get to the chase. Who are your top three playmates of all time? Let's get it going. That's a nice question. It's a good question, a tough question, but I'll answer it. Number three, Carmen Electra. Yeah. Could you imagine waking up on Christmas morning with Carmen Electra? Oh, baby. The snow is falling, the meatloaf's in the oven. Carmen's popping in a Keurig, and I'm just toying with a 3D puzzle by the fire. Hey, honey, what time are your folks coming? You know? uh, I bet Brian Electra is a great father in law. You know? He's gotta be. The guy's definitely got a pontoon boat that I can use once in a while. Number two, Pam Anderson, right? I'll take it, Pam Anderson. Could you imagine leaf peeping in October with Pamela Anderson? That's awesome, right boys? Yeah. <laughs> I'm driving through the White Mountains in my 1997 light blue Ford Taurus. You know the one with the bumper sticker on the back that says, kiss me, I'm Catholic. It's a great bumper sticker, it's waterproof too. And the leaves are putting on a free show. It's a free show, folks. I appreciate you, Pam. That's a free show. And at some point, we pulled to an overpass. I put my arm around Pam and I say, hey, honey, aren't you glad you ditched LA for New Hampshire? Yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous up there. But of course, my number one playmate of all time, that's my playmate Cooler right here, everybody. Yeah. Cheers to it, boys. Now I carry this with me wherever I go. I have to. I'm from New England. Yeah. I got Lyme disease. <laughs> Lucky for me, folks. I got that Bud Light Lyme disease. Let's get it going. <laughs> you don't chug it, you enjoy it. But come on, guys, just relax. I feel like I'm at the beach right now. <laughs> oh, these things will give me the sugar nightmares, Harry. I'll tell you that much right about now. You too, Joel. Woo! Want to sit? You're gonna have a great night. You're gonna have a great night. Now I'm gonna go see my doctor. My doctor says, Jesus Christ, Brad, I'm concerned. Your blood sugar levels are as high as a drone. How many of those are you putting down a day? I said, I don't know, doc. Depends on the Hawaiian shirt I'm wearing and the hot tub I'm sitting in. Yeah. It's true. I don't know, it is true. Oh yeah, I can't stand art. I don't like art. <laughs> it's so boring. It's boring. Lorraine, don't say a word. <laughs> Picasso, Monet, don't care. I'm gonna paint you a picture anyways. Here it is. It's a Tuesday night in my backyard. I got 12 of my neighbors sitting in my six seat hot tub. I got Journey blasting out of the Bluetooth. Underneath the water, Beth and Steve are flirting with their toes. No one knows in my hot tub anything goes. And at some point, my neighbor Dave will say, hey Brad, come on, spill the beans. Give us that Regis impression we love so much. We love it so much. You like Regis, give me a hell yeah. yeah. So we have a couple beers and I do my Regis and we have a ball. You guys should come sometime. Yeah. You guys don't want to hear my yeah. Regis, do you? Yeah. DJ?
Where are you from? Thank you very much. Just something simple. You don't need to do a whole thing. You just give it a taste. I miss that guy. I really do. Don't you miss him, boys? Jeez, all right, boys. Those guys watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on repeat to the day. It's okay. Oh, God. And by the way, let's have a nice big round of applause. They deserve it. For my camera crew this evening, everybody. All four of my assistant Little League coaches. Go ahead, take a look, take a look. That's right. You're looking at the head coach of the Fitchburg Puppies right here. And this year, fourth year in a row, we took home the prize again. And this year we had some of the most talented group of boys and girl I've ever had the pleasure of coaching. We had one girl, she wasn't good, so when I didn't play her, it looked like a piece of junk, but I didn't care. Because between my Little League and my softball championships, pff, I'm never buying a light beer in this town again. Not gonna happen. Oh yeah, you know what I love? Standing around an eggnog bowl on Thanksgiving. Oh, we break it out early. There's not much time, you break it out early. And my Uncle Bruce will often say, hey Brad, come on. You ever think about Saturday Night Live? <laughs> yes, I think about it every single day when I'm selling computer mouse pads door to door. That's what I do for a living. It's what I do for a living. I'm good at it. It's not what I want to do. I make a good five figures at it. You, got, you guys will see me around the neighborhood. It's like every cat needs a mouse. It's like a cat one or whatever. But I have an even bigger announcement for you. As a local New Englander, you stay in this industry long enough, good things happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this Wednesday, I am auditioning to be on the cover of L.L. Bean. Yeah. It's not even hard to do. You just gotta be like local, and I think they said like a five or a six on the hot scale. It's like something like that. Can I brag a little bit? I think I'm a five. I'll give myself a five. But if I tuck in a medium restaurant t-shirt, I'm walking the tightrope around a seven. I've got to. Joel, don't look at me like that. You know I am. Now, I want to run this audition by you, if you don't mind. Try out some of my poses. So, is that okay with you guys? Yeah. It's at the tippity top of Maine, which is gonna take me like four or five days to get there. But apparently on a clear day, you can see Miami. So that should be a lot of fun. <laughs> this is what they make you wear. They send this to you. They send this turtleneck to you, so you just gotta wear it. All right. My name is Brad Howe, and today I'm auditioning to be on the cover of L.L. Bean's Winter Turtleneck Catalog. I prepared a couple of my poses for you today. Sears wanted these poses, but let's be honest, I buy my lazy boys at Sears, not my turtlenecks. <laughs> this first pose is a little holiday cheer I like to call Merry Christmas, Peggy. <laughs> oh, sad, you really did it this year. That's a thirsty eight-footer. Gorgeous. Oh, something smells good. Hey, Merry Christmas, Peggy. <laughs> this next poll has a little, a little more attitude to it. It's one I like to call, guys, Santa's coming soon. <laughs> guys, guys, come on. Let's shut the PlayStation down, guys. Jesus, Santa's coming soon. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's not that hard. It's just, you know, almost up. Two layers is too much in this room, baby. And of course, my last pose is one I've been saying for a long time. The dads are gonna love it and the moms are gonna go crazy. It's what I like to call, somebody's gonna put the star on the tree. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Michelle? <laughs> Why is Larry Bird missing a leg? <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, the wife and kids aren't around. Somebody's going to put the star on the tree. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got it? Knock it off. Who's got the laser pointer? Seriously, I got hit in the eye 10 years ago. Now every sunset I see is green. I have no reason to go to Florida ever again. Stop. Who's got it? It's okay. I'm not that mad. Who's got it? Uh, I knew this day was coming. <laughs> you know, you guys know me as a single guy around town. I know that. I got a 24-foot above-ground pool. I pencil dive when I please. <laughs> Do whatever I want. Sometimes I rent a Firebird for the weekend. I'm a single guy. <sighs> but I did try to settle down one time. I did. Sheila. Do you remember Sheila? Love of my life. Woof. I'll never forget the first time I met her. She was sipping a flat beer underneath a neon bar sign, <laughs> dancing with her shoes off to some Bob Seger. Let's face it, her whole life has been against the wind. She's a tough cookie. <laughs> Lo and behold, she leaves me on the 4th of July. Yeah, I rode my motorcycle shirtless alone in the parade. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Sheila had a son. His name is Finn. Finn is here tonight, obviously, with his preteen behaviors. <laughs> I hate you, little shit. So, Mr. Funny Pants thinks he's having a lot of fun over there. What do you say we meet my ex stepson, Finn? Yeah. You want to see that? Welcome to the stage, my ex stepson, Finn. This is Finn. Finn. Why hasn't your mother called me? Don't want to answer it right now. Finn's a good kid. He's in a band. You're a musician. He's in a band called Life Sucks. <laughs> got a bass player. No Jimmy Buffett where I come from, I'll tell you that much right about now. No beach balls there. Now, Finn and I didn't exactly get off to the right start, did we? Uh-uh. You thought it'd be funny to wear a soccer jersey to church. Soccer? Not my son. Soccer sucks. Never mind the fact that I did have the satin jacket court ten over for the Pro Bowl. He said the Pro Bowl doesn't matter. The Pro Bowl matters. Those guys work hard. Somebody's gotta watch them. But lo and behold, I gotta say, Finn, this kid's awesome. He's awesome. Oh man, he's awesome. You wanna talk about a walking TikTok challenge, seriously. Whether he's eating Tide Pods or holding his breath underwater, you're just racking up the followers, aren't you? Good kid, good kid. And I must say, last time I saw you was that uh, I took you and your friends to the Celtics game for your 12th birthday. Funny enough, he got on the tween cam. On the Jumbotron? Go ahead, give him a taste. On the tween cam. Anyways, uh, I hope you're doing well, and I want to ask you, what do you have, uh, what do you think of the show so far? Mid. <laughs> All right, Mr. Funny Pants over here. Huh? You think this is so easy? You want to do a couple of minutes of stand-up? Oh yeah, who wants to see my ex-stepson Finn do some stand-up? Hey, knock it out. No, you don't. Knock it out, you don't. All right, fine. If that's what you want, then you're going to see it. 
my ex steps on Finn. I just want to start off with apologizing. I am truly sorry. You had to listen to this guy for so long. Jesus Christ, I'm dying out there. Do you need cocktail, please? Oh, here we go, here we go. You didn't even sell one joke yet. You're bombing out there. Thanks, Chris. Wow, that's terrible, he's saying you're bombing out there. That's awful. <laughs> don't give me that look, I don't like that look. Speaking of humanity falling apart, I went on a cruise last month. <laughs> he's doing all my cruise ship material. Hello? Would you like to hear something about Jesus? Well, do you? Jeannie, I invited Sheila. Is she here yet? No, I don't see Sheila here. You see Sheila here? She's not here as yet. Oh, what's this wrong to you? Yeah, yeah. Make a pig out of yourself, too, while you're at it. Go ahead. You're always asking me about Sheila. Well, her son's here. Well, uh, she don't want to see you. Next, you see some woman shuffling away with practically the entire shelf of toilet paper. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> Life goes on. Got a long time of your life, and yeah, your love hurts sometimes, but sometimes you gotta just go forward. What could I tell you? Just go live your life and be happy, that's it. And say goodbye to Sheila. She don't want you. If she comes, send her back. Thanks for nothing, Gina. All right, take care. Bye-bye now. I can't. I just can't. Why don't you just go his merry way? Why did they come to me? I got my own problems sometimes. Nobody listens to me. Jesus. I still hate that guy to this day. I'm gonna shut down. I'm gonna shut down. All right, all right, all right. You just did all my cruise ship material. It's like 20 minutes out of this special. He didn't talk about JetBlue cookies, did he? That's a different bit, but just wondering. Whatever. All right, give it up for my ex-stepson, Finn, everybody. I'm all out of sorts. Never mind that I just had some shrimp at the bar. God. Seriously, folks, if I burp, you better know your exits. It's gonna stink like SeaWorld in here. Whew. If you like SeaWorld, give me a hell yeah. Keep it strong. All right, let me get my bearings. Let me get my bearings here. Let me get centered. DJ, how about a taste? Oh, yeah. Number one wedding DJ in New England, DJ Stan Manson. I love that guy. Guy's awesome. And he's got some of the toughest DJ trivia in the Northeast. DJ, hit me. What color are the minions? <laughs> Navy blue. No. Yellow. It doesn't matter now. Well, what the hell? <laughs> I want those two free movie passes. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, love that guy. Oh, ladies, 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 ladies. If you're looking for a wedding date this season, look no further. I'm a professional plus one. Isn't that right, DJ? Yeah. Most guys hate going to weddings. Me? My ideal Saturday night is clipping on a tie, slipping in some loafers, and going to your stepsister's second wedding. And you know I'm praying it doesn't work out so we can go again next summer. Let's go. 50% oh, of marriages end in divorce. 100% of weddings end in fun when you take me. Yes, they do. I'll tell you why. I love a good wedding. Yes, sir. First off, what a great way to sneak in an extra day at church, huh? Just get it in. Come up a little bit. There's something about the peace be with you's that are a lot more fun. When in about 20 minutes, we're both gonna be cranking curated cocktails. Something about it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in 20, you know, it's fun like that. The reception, great way to learn about the stock market. I get cornered with some guy named Phil. Phil, how's the market looking? Market's the market. Write that down. Yeah, market's the market. Thanks, Phil. Anyways, please, write that down. Mr. Plus One at Hotmail.com. You're either taking a bumble date or some guy who's caught over 147 garters. Isn't that right, boys? That's what I'm talking about, boys. <laughs> How about another?
another song, boys. Who wants to see? Hey, if you guys want to hear another song, give me a hell yeah. yeah. Come on, boys. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? let the dogs out? Oh, my God. It's too wild for me. It's just way too wild for me, boys. If you guys like to rock and roll, give me a hell yeah. yeah. I want to thank the Lord for making me a Doobie Brothers fan. Yeah. Yes, sir. Could you imagine not being a Doobie Brothers fan in the modern era? You're in the car. It's like, I hate this song. What life are you leading? Yeah. Have some fun. Roll down the windows, take a drive by Dairy Queen, hang out, play the Doobies. Yeah. Now, me and the quartet went last year to an outdoor amphitheater concert. We did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they remember. Easily the wildest concert I have ever been to in my entire life. The tailgate alone. We were ripping butts and drinking white Russians out the back of a Mazda with a woman named Lyndall Lou. <laughs> woman did not have Facebook. <laughs> now when I go to a concert, I like to sit in the lawn seats. You know what I'm talking about? That's where the real fans sit. Yes, sir. I like to watch a band from over 400 yards away. That's where the real fans sit. Sure. I don't want to be sitting with Bradley Cooper in the front row. Forget that. I want to sit with Ronnie from Worcester. He snuck in the beers. You know what I mean? Let's go. Sneak him in. Don't pay for that. I'm not talking about DJ. Give me hell yeah, DJ. Hell yeah. Okay. He's a good guy. Now, up in the lawn seats, that's where all the fun happens, Will. Yes, it does. You got the cougars dancing with their shoes off. You get the beer helmet guy, but he put martinis in there. It's just kind of fun and different, you know? So I've been thinking to myself, when I go to these concerts, and I've been going to these classic rock concerts since I was a kid, what can I bring to the lawn seats? How can I have some fun up there? You get to move around. And I found out this summer exactly who I was at the Doobie Brothers concert. And give me a second. DJ, it went a little something like this. Doobies? Yeah. Sheila. Oh, wow. Sheila loved them. I miss her. She used to put me on her shoulders at a concert. <laughs> it was like 10 feet tall. <laughs> People like, sit down. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Anyways, I've been getting myself out there again. You know, single guy in town, dating around. You girls in this town are tough. 
<laughs> tough cookies. I took this one girl out to Dave and Buster's last week. You know me and my softball skills. I'm racking them up and sitting them down the ski ball track. There's 100 after 100. Oh, that actually hurts. Oh, sore shoulder. She says, Brad, the more tickets you win me, the bigger the goodnight kiss. So I'm about to blow my rotator cuff out just to get a proper smooch. It's like, Jesus. Where's the other girl? I took her to a nice chain restaurant. Something simple. You know, a couple draft beers, a scalding chicken Alfredo. Yes, the bathroom stink, but the restaurant playlist was insane. Insane. I'm just like, oh, Eddie Mati, I loved it. Good stuff. <laughs> out of nowhere, she says, Brad, take me to a fancy restaurant. Oh, God. Listen, I'm sure the steamers down at Desario's will make you cream your jeans. But there's nothing fancier to me than standing outside of the Olive Garden, ripping a 100. I like a long smoke, you know? It's a long smoke. I can smell the breadsticks coming out of the microwave. And out of nowhere, some electronic square starts going cuckoo in the back of my bootcut jeans. <laughs> hey, babe, table's ready. That's first class. That's how you do it. So I said, all right, maybe I need to adapt. Meet somebody new. I got on the dating app, said my little shit nephew put one on my phone. Cougarsdelight.com. Great site. Until I realized he put a virus on my phone. And that virus is called sin. Sin. Oh yeah. Warning folks, these are hookup sites. Had no idea. Yeah, sex this and sex that. Whatever happened to just having a cobbler? Just having a cobbler. Whatever happened to go up to Old Orchard Beach, you meet some girl on the go-kart track. You know what I'm talking about? You're riding around left and right. You see some pretty girl to your left. You say, hey, will you marry me? It's a little much. You say it because your adrenaline's flying high. So I said no more. I'm done with it. Never again. I'm going back old school. The way I've always known how. See, I've got a little pickup move that I'd like to show you tonight. It's the way I met Sheila. I'll never forget where I was. I was down at my favorite watering hole, Donnelly's. <laughs> the beer is cold, boys, and the jukebox is hungry. <laughs> she walked in, and I didn't even say a word. I picked her up. Now, I want to show this move to you right now, but you got to be careful. It's guaranteed to work, so you better love them. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to show you a move that I'd like to call the smoke and wink. smoking. Do it with an e-cigarette. Quit smoking, you know? A nice blue light. 
put some gaff tape over it, whatever you have to do. <laughs> You know, folks, it's been good being here tonight. I had myself a bad dream the other night. You know me and my bad dreams and all. <laughs> bad dreams. I had the sugar nightmares. I don't know if you know what the sugar nightmares are. <laughs> Around 10 o'clock tonight, go home, have a bowl of ice cream. Biggest one you've ever had. <laughs> Call my ass in the morning. <laughs> You're gonna see the future, the past, and everything in between. It's awful. First part of my nightmare, my neighbor Suzette said, Hey, Frank. <laughs> what are you gonna do Saturday night live? A Southern accent, we don't live in that part of the country, but whatever. <laughs> oh, Saturday Night Live, shut up. <laughs> God, no, I can see it now. Oh, the boys are gonna be saying, hey, we got lawn seats to the Doobie Brothers. You coming or not? <sighs> Sorry, boys. I got called into work to do my Regis for the country. <laughs> They gotta have it. Hell no. I do my impressions at 11.30 on a Sunday morning at church. Father Craig goes crazy for it. He loves it. So I woke up. I took a step out of my backyard. Overlooking my above ground pool. Tiki torches steaming from the night before. I had a couple friends over. Did my Regis. Nursing a sore knee because I was pencil diving all night too. Just warning, if you ever do pencil dive in an above ground pool, what you don't want to do is this. You don't want to kind of like swoop it. So you swoop, you want to swoop. You go straight down, you're gonna blow your knee out. Kiss your softball season goodbye, folks. Kiss it goodbye. And I thought to myself, I've really enjoyed living in this town with you guys. I have. I love being Mr. Howe in this town. I love going over to my parents' house and See my mom and my dad fly the drone around the neighborhood. <laughs> my dad loves seeing the other hot tub setups in town. He's a humble guy, but he always says, mine's the best. <laughs> the day after Thanksgiving, sometimes we get on the tinies and unload the Christmas trees. We do, seriously. This year they got 30 16 footers. Can you believe that? I don't want to be on the cover, but I would love to pose in front of one of those. <laughs> really nice. I love playing in my cover band, Feeble Attempt. Cool. I play with my best friend Nick, his dad Joe, his uncle Tony, and Chris Mack. And every Labor Day, we play at Wyman Lakes. And the cougars dance so hard, you would have thought we wrote Give Me Three Steps. They really did. Oh, yeah. You know I'm talking about Nick. You were there. You were there. You pulled up on a jet ski, you animal. <laughs> Guy's awesome. <laughs> and I love seeing my sister down in Florida. And a lot of times my brother and I, we go on these long drives. We get a blueberry coffee, we call it the cozy route. We turn the Bruce Hornsby up and the bass down because we're not 17 anymore, you know what I mean? Bruce. It's things like this and more that make me proud to be, proud to be a part of this town. It really is. And all I can say is this. I love my town the people in it, and I always will. I want to thank you very much for coming out with me here tonight, everybody. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Cheers to the boys. Cheers to the boys. Now, 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 now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a little bit too sentimental for me. We're going to do this right. If you'll all join me together, please stand. <laughs> DJ, give me a taste. Hell yeah!
Oh, hey. Sheila. Hey, what'd you think of the show? I just, uh... What's thought... this I hear? You're telling everybody that I left you? Oh, now, hold on a minute. I didn't say anything You about... left me on strawberry tonight. Sorry. Well, Jeff Balducci's having a house party tonight. Keg of lime beer. You interested? Still got the bike.